I've learned a lot about being a woman recently. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I, I found out a lot of things about me. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Would you guys like to listen to this? Because you know, who knows? Maybe you'll have, maybe you're a girl. Maybe you have friends who are women. Maybe your mom or something, somebody in your life, women and stuff. And you learn from this, you know what I mean? Listen, as you guys may know, I may have been diagnosed with ADHD. I, do I believe in that diagnosis? No, I do not. No, I do not. No, I do not. Honest to God, I do not. I think I don't have that. I, I think that I am quite normal and I don't have that shit, but whatever. So I found out something about myself. I recently started a medication called birth control so that I can manage my PCOS and my periods and stuff like that. Okay. Are you guys following? Are you guys following? Right, 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 right. And apparently, this is really unfortunate, but if you're a woman and you have ADHD, your symptoms of ADHD will get worse during before your period. And what is not talked about enough with people with ADHD is that ADHD causes depression. It causes a lot of other stuff. It causes your emotions to be a lot of out of whack and, and stuff like that. I've learned a lot about myself in the past two days because on birth control, I've realized ever since four to five days ago, right? Four to five days ago, I started becoming extremely mad, extremely unemotion, like emotionally like fucked up. And to the point where every time I had to AFK on stream, I, I had like an anxiety attack. It was really bad. To the point where every time that I ended stream, I would feel the sense of like, fuck, I should not have ended stream. It was pretty bad. It was bad, 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 bad. And then I, I um, um, researched about it and stuff, and I thought it was my birth control making it worse. And it was, don't get me wrong. It was my birth control making it really worse and stuff like that, and which is unfortunate. But then I looked at the number of the pill. I looked at the date of when what my cycle is at the moment, right? I looked at it and I'm looking at it, right? And then I searched on Reddit about like how people are feeling on birth control during the cycles and stuff. And then some Reddit woman commented during the luteal phase. I've never heard about this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea about the phases of the fucking period. My bad. I forgot. The drop of estrogen during the luteal phase of the cycle causes even bigger drops in the dopamine production. Estrogen helps with dopamine production, causing our baseline ADHD symptoms to be worse during the luteal phase, which was when I started like breaking down and stuff on stream and stuff like that. And then you know what? When it stopped yesterday and that was the last day of the luteal phase. What the fuck? I was literally breaking down last night. I was break every night for the past five nights. I've been breaking down like really bad, like super horrendously bad to the point where I thought I was going to fucking die. And then last night it went away. Like I was like, what? It happened. And then. I didn't feel it anymore. The anxiety was gone. Like it was like a snap of a finger. And I'm like, what the fuck? The chemicals of my brain just like fucking fixed. Like what? I was so confused. And then I looked at the date and it's the seventh date. That's when the luteal phase ends. What the fuck? It's so confusing. It, the woman body is so complicated. My body is so complicated and it's so frustrating because I just want to be fucking normal. So that's why my ADHD has been so much worse is because my brain is trying to find dopamine. It's trying so hard to like find dopamine this past few days. And at the moment that like, I don't have anything dopamine inject <laughs> injecting in my brain, I'm like, why have we been so weird? I don't know, man. I'm, I mean, I can't speak for all, but like for me, it's just so unfortunate. Anyway, I almost quit my meds today, but then I realized, okay, I'm gonna do today as a trial thingy that if I break down for zero reason again, I'm quitting these medication and moving to a next one because I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. My life has never felt so bad. Again, I feel like I'm going fucking <laughs> I'm open about this because like the way that my mood is during my streams and whatever, I would want to be open about it because like, I don't want it to be so sudden where like, hey guys, suddenly I feel like shit today. I'm gonna fucking ban people or like whatever. Or like my 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 patience line differs from weeks on ends. And I, it's really frustrating as a viewer because sometimes you're like, oh, she was so fine with like this banter, this amount of banter like a fucking week ago, but then suddenly she's getting mad right now. And I know it's kind of hard 
to keep dealing with that especially like I, I want you guys to have fun in chat so like that's why i try to talk about this is so that you know what i mean it's so that i don't feel guilty for what i have to go through and i want to be open about it so that you guys can have a better time in chat as well i'm still figuring everything out i'm still like i'm still like trying to research more i'm still trying to read papers about it uh apparently when it comes with like uh because or whatever mm -hmm. or like mood swings adhd mm -hmm. and whatever is super like, it, like it's, it's confusing as fuck when i'm at you and my friends i let them know i'm having a skits a week so they get if i'm a little out of it yeah 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 make sure you're wean off the meds slowly because if you quit meds completely yeah no i i didn't i'm not gonna quit i'm gonna try so the adjustment period takes three months but you know understanding the symptoms and stuff like that helps a ton too i'm gonna i'm gonna try my best to do the three months and i'm gonna try my best to document like how i feel so that i could like post about it maybe in reddit or something in this fucking these threads so other women can read it and like maybe relate to it or whatever the fuck because like holy shit reddit has helped me so much when it comes to like women issues or whatever everybody is so different with the way that uh medications will affect them and stuff i have no idea whether in four months will it go away or not but i won't know until i reach that point right but god good god i thought i was gonna fucking die i it was to the point where if i um didn't wake up tomorrow i was like okay with it it was so shit it was so fucking shit. W Reddit, that's where I learned to take care of my curly hair. Dude, right? I know, right? The women of Reddit are absolutely so nice. And the, like, also, it's a great way to find whether a product is like actually good or not. Because like, they're like, oh, fuck this fucking product. It fucking ruined my skin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whenever I need to buy like a new, like let's say foundation or something, I always go like, da -da 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 -da, review Reddit. And then I'll see the true, true, true feelings of like an average person. But that's like the only place I go for Reddit for is like women issues and makeup and skincare. That's literally it. I always suss the skincare Reddit for the best products. Yeah, right. Yeah, I gotta add Reddit to the end of most searches these days. It's actually true because people are just like trying to like put out their opinion and stuff. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. I'm a guy, good but you sharing something like this would hopefully us or our partners in the future. Thank you. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, literally, if there's any women in your life or whatever and you see them going through something, information and stuff like that, and, like, be understood and validated with those, like, emotional outbursts makes people feel so much better. You have no idea. As long as people feel, like, if you, if you make your partner or the people in your life, like, the women in your life feel like they're crazy when literally they their hormones are, like, literally affecting the way they think... Then it's like not fair, is it? Wait, women exist? What? 